This is my homebrew CPU. On the left in green, all the registers of the actual CPU. All the blue cards are the control buses and data buses. The black card there is the motherboard that does the inputs and outputs and memory. And the red is all the instruction decoder. Lots of ANDs and OR gates. So it's running slow at the moment, you can see all the lights flashing. On the motherboard there is actually a speed control, so you can slow it right down. You can actually single step it on the keyboard if you go to manual mode. And if you come in a bit closer, that's the A register that feeds into the adder, it's an 8-bit adder made of 2-4-bit adder cards. And that's the B register control card that can invert the B registers into subtraction, and that's the B register at the bottom. The A and B feed across this side for AND or LXOR. And on the right there at the top is the status register with carry, zero and the C register to double buffer the carry. Uh, that's general purpose register 1 and general purpose register 2. And that one is the uh, memory address register and then that one's the program counter. And over this side is the motherboard. So it's actually a PIC chip but all it does is emulate RAM and ROM drive the screen there, so it's 9 pixels, reads the keyboard and does the clock, like any other motherboard. Above there that's the instruction register, and that's the data bus buffer, so you can separate the internal and, data, internal and, out, so internal and external data buses. Right, this is the uh, instruction decoder, and that on those are demultiplexers with demultiplexing all the instructions and the addressing modes. And here is basically the main decoder part that's just a load of AND and OR gates that turn the instructions and whatever step in a microcode they're in into the control signals. There's about 72 that come out of there and they feed across those demultiplexing boards okay, or matrixing boards into these are a load of OR gates to reduce the number of control signals. There's 32 control signals in all. So oh, that's the keyboard that uh, was made out of a PC keyboard with the keys ripped out. And so that's the motherboard with this some bodge wires. Right, you, slow it, you can slow it right down if you wish. So this is a prototype, that's why some of the wires, there's a few bodge wires and some of the links are twisted and turned <laughs> due to mistakes. And if we're running up to full speed, we can play a game of noughts and crosses. So uh, it's a bit difficult holding the camera and playing at the same time. So the green's coming up very bright, but the red's coming up a bit dim for some reason on the camera. But it's programmed so you can win. I mean it can win. <laughs> so uh it's not foolproof. So press zero to say I'm going first and then select where I want to go. And home to play again. Let's give it another go. Start the centre this time. Just try not to lose. And stars to tell the computer to go first, so it can go first if you want. 